We're in front of John Buck O'Neill. Yes. Buck O'Neill, one of the great ambassadors for baseball. Not only in the league leagues, but also in Major League Baseball. Signed Lou Brock and Ernie Banks, I believe. Was one of the first African American coaches. How good was Buck as a player? Buck was an outstanding baseball player. Uh, solid, solid line around here, 288 lifetime batting average. And he's stellar defensive first baseman, one of the greatest defensive first basemen in the Negro Leagues, and uh, clutch hitter. You know, he, he was always there to drive in those winning runs, and you know, there was nothing that Buck couldn't do. I think sometimes the fact that he was such a great ambassador overshadows his actual baseball playing abilities, and, and Buck could play. And, and certainly he merited consideration for Hall of Fame, and uh, we're all disappointed that it didn't happen. But you know, most folks got to know Buck well after his playing career, and they fell in love with this very charming, gentle man who told us these wonderful stories about baseball that we had never heard before. And he did it with a twinkle in his eye and a smile that just lit up the screen. And America fell in love with Buck O'Neill. Buck O'Neill's knowledge of the game, his stories about the Negro Leagues and being in Manhattan. How much of Buck's knowledge did you guys take to, to put this museum together? A lot of it. A lot of it. He really becomes the voice for this thing. And, and so he kind of gave us the guidance for how this story needed to be told. And of course, he was that living presence. So, you know, we're not going on what we heard. What we, heard. we had somebody who was there who experienced it. And the same can be said for Monty Irvin and others who were so important to the organization of this museum. And we were very fortunate that we still had a number of Negro League players with us at that time who could kind of help us shape the story and provide that needed historical accuracy and insight. One more stop to go. We've been segregated from the field as we've been going through it. We've got one more stock we can, we can see it from here. And I'm excited for this one because we actually have some other visitors who are here <laughs> checking out the checking out the, our last stop. So we'll do that next on KCGR.com.